And she said, I tell you what, I'm going to ask you to pray with me that on July the 25th until July the 26th, there'll be no homicide. I got up Sunday morning, called the mayor's office. What's the crime report? She said, uh, three folks got shot, but nobody got killed. That's the first time since 1992 that we had no homicides in the city of Oakland. Despite all that has happened in this year, that's the first time since 1992. And so she came on my show that Monday. And she said, I want to thank everybody. But in the midst of all of that, she said, you know what? Why do we have to have special occasions to pray? Mm -hmm. And so she said, Brother Young, you started this in 1992. What you want to do? So the two of us got together and decided that for the next 16 weeks, we were going to ask Baltimore to join us in a prayer vigil. Right. And I'm happy to report that this past Tuesday a week, we had over 40 churches sign up. Your church was one of the first five to come on board. Again, show your pastor some love. One of the first one to come. And so, as we have started this, somebody said to me, well, what you doing? Giving up your Friday nights. I said, let me tell you something. Last week when we had our prayer vigil, another church that new unity started at greater harvest went over to st martin's then we were down to new unity tonight we're with you next week we're going to be a, in the next 12 weeks we're going to be in a, either a mosque a synagogue or some church around this city and we're not going to have it in the baltimore east or baltimore west it's going to be all over the city so i see you got a you got a, a jewish group i said they can pray you got a boss going to open up Minister Carlos Muhammad said, absolutely. People are gathering around the prayer vision. But last week, I had an invitation, VIP seats, to sit with Gladys Knight in the old James. And I gave my tickets away, and one of my colleagues to me said, boy, you crazy as heck. I said, wait a minute now. She has a midnight train to Georgia, but I'm gonna have a midnight hook up with Jesus. It was a you gotta know how to answer these folks sometimes. That's right. And 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 uh, so, so I said, well, you gonna give up your entire 16 Fridays? Mm -hmm. And I'll be honest with you. Sometimes I say to myself in the middle of the week, what you gonna do? But I showed up in here. Two or three of us was here at six o'clock. I said, let me turn around. And here I look around, and y'all are filled these seats up. And prayer warriors, great God Almighty. I mean, we got some prayer warriors up in here. And I was, I can't wait to call Dr. Hughes up and tell her. Because I want her to know that what we have started is going to continue for the next 12 weeks. Amen. We're going to end on November the 20th with the Reverend Jeremiah Wright. 